Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I asked you guys over on my Instagram stories while I was doing some unboxing if you guys wanted to see a tutorial dedicated just to the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection. And yes, definitely one by a majority. So here I am doing this look using the entire Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection. So here first is the Naked Cherry palette. This is such a pretty palette. So let me show you guys what the inside looks like. The packaging of everything is so pretty. So here is the palette. I love the cranberry tones of everything. And then we have the highlight and blush palette. And that is what the highlight and blush palette looks like on the inside. And then we have three lipsticks. So we first have the devilish metalized lipstick. It's like a really pretty pink with some shimmer through it. And then we have the juicy metalized lipstick. This is a light peach pink with copper shimmer through it. And then the one that I am wearing, which is a cream lipstick, and this is in the shade Cherry. And then there are also two 24-7 glide-on pencils. One is in Black Market. It is just a black satin pencil. And then we have Love Drug, which is a metallic deep wine. So I use this entire collection to create this look. I'm loving how vampy and how perfect for fall it is. So if you guys want to stick around to see how I created this look using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection, then just keep on watching. I'm going into the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Juicy. I'm first going in with my Sigma E30 Diffuse Crease Brush and I'm going to start applying the shadow through my crease. This is such a pretty shade. I'm now picking up Devilish. I'm now switching over to my Sigma E25 and I'm first tapping the shadow on this outer corner. And then I'm going to start doing circular motions, start bringing this up and through the crease. And then I'm going to apply this on this inner corner of my lid and then blend that through the crease. To darken up my look, I'm picking up Privacy. I'm now going to darken up the outer corner, just in this very outer corner with my E45 Small Taper Brush by Sigma. And then start lightly buffing that through the crease at the very low point of this crease, not too high. And then I'm going to apply that same shadow right on this very inner corner of my lid and then do the same thing by dragging that through the crease at the very lower point of that crease and start blending that out. I'm picking up Devilish again and just running this right over top of this crease area just to blend everything out and bring this brighter, darker pink. That did not make sense. Brighter, darker pink. Just basically bringing this pink back in through the crease. And then with Juicy at the very high point of the crease to make sure that everything is blended, I always like to bring back the transition shade that I apply first through the crease at the very end just to make sure that it blends everything out seamlessly. To highlight my brow bone, I'm picking up Hotspot. With my Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. I'm now going into Drunk Dial. So I picked this shadow up on my finger and I'm first going to apply this just on this outer corner over top of where I applied those darker shadows. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this inner corner of my lid, right over top of those darker shadows. For the center of my lid, I'm picking up Young Love. And then picking this shade up on my finger again and just applying this right in the center. And then take your blending brush and just blend through the crease to make sure that there's no harsh lines and everything is really seamless. For my lower lash, I'm going to do the same thing that we did through the crease. So first starting off with Juicy and my E54 Medium Sweeper Brush by Sigma, I'm just going to run this along my lash line. Then picking up my E20 short shader brush and devilish and start darkening up my lash line. And then with my E15 flat definer brush, I'm applying privacy really close to my lash line to darken it up. And then start smoking that down. To line my waterline, I'm going into this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Love Drug. Now I'm just going to line my waterline. I'm going to apply some mascara and false lashes and today I'm going into these House of Lashes in Allure Light. And that's the eye look done. So I have nothing through my cheeks yet, no blush, contour, or highlight, but I do have my foundation, concealer, and powder on. I really want to show you guys the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Highlight and Blush Palette. The packaging is so cute and it matches my sweater. <laughs> so I'm going to first do my contour and I'm going to go into this Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter and Light Medium Shift. And I'm just going to mix these two shades right here. And I'm going to apply that through my cheeks using my Smashbox Angled Blush Brush. 
So here's what the highlight and blush palette looks like. So I'm going to pick up this blush right here. And I'm going to apply that on the apples of my cheeks using my Sigma Large Angled Contour F40 brush. And then for my highlight, I'm going to pick up this shade right here. And I'm going to apply that with my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03 brush. So this lipstick from the Cherry Collection really caught my eye, so I really wanted to do this one. It's nice and bampy and perfect for fall. So this is the Cherry Cream Lipstick. Look at that shade. It's so pretty. So first, I'm going to line my lips using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Hex. And now I'm going to fill in my lips with the lipstick. And that's it. This is a completed look of my Cranberry Smoky Eye using the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. This lipstick is so pretty and rich. And I love how vampy it is. It's so perfect for fall. This look entirely is just fall and winter. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box. And also list of all the brushes that I used along with products will be listed down below in the description box for you guys to find everything easier. And also let me know down in the comments if you guys got your hands on any of the products from the Naked Cherry Collection. I really want to hear what you guys think and which products you got and... I think that should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!